So in this video, we'll be discussing uh, BVR uh, engagements. Um, the early BVR missile that the JF-17 has is the SD-10 missile, which on paper performs better than the AIM-120B, but worse than the AIM-120C. However, through my testing, I kind of feel that the SD-10 uh, missile has uh, greater maneuverability and maintains its energy better than the AIM-120C, so uh, I prefer it to the M120C. So just some key bindings to be aware of. Um, to switch to uh, intercept master mode, that is going to be your T1 forward key. Uh, as you can see here, BVR intercept mode. Once you are in intercept mode, you will be locking targets with your T5 depressed key. And you will be using the S2 switch to control the radar. So S2 forward is going to increase the range of your radar search. S2 backwards is going to decrease the range of your radar search. S2 right is going to change the azimuth um, uh, that your radar scans between, you know, like 50 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees. And S2 left is going to uh, change between range while scan, track while scan and VS uh, mode. And then you will launch the weapon um, using the S3 uh, weapon launch switch. So in the cockpit of the uh, JS-17, um, we want to switch to air-to-air -air master mode by pressing uh, T1 forward. Now that we're in air-to-air -air master mode, we can see our SD10s are arming up and and they are now warmed up and ready to fire. On our radar screen, we can slew the radar cursor around using our slew key, and we lock up by pressing T5 uh, depress. So if I press T5 depress of this target, it locks it it locks them up into SAM mode, which is basically a mode which allows um, you to have the target locked up but still have slight situational awareness around that target. If I uh, press the T5 to press key again, it will lock him up into single target track. So this arrow above the 30 box points in the direction where that aircraft is. So we can see now he's in this box. Uh, the number in the box indicates the flight time of the missile. The, uh, the dot over here indicates our steering cue. This number is supposed to indicate our altitude differential, but uh, I don't think that's working at the moment. Um, we can see there's a range of 12 nautical miles, an enclosure rate of around 580 knots, and this shows us he's six degrees to the right. As, as we get in range, this, this carrot on the box, there we go, it moved to underneath the box, and it provides us with a shoot cue. And when we fire the missile, we will, um, this should change to TOA. I don't think it's modeled yet, so let's see. So, uh, Fox 3. There we go. So, theoretically, this should have changed to TOA to show it, uh, a, a time till active, and that's when the seeker on the um, SD10 will go pit bull. Um, so, I think that's not modeled 100% yet, and I don't think the altitude differential, which is meant to show up over here, is modeled yet. Um, but that, that's coming. Some other items on the uh, HUD um, weapon ready shows that your, your weapon is ready. INTC, which is your air to air um, intercept mode, uh, we got there by pressing uh, T1 uh, forward, and this shows that, that we're in TWS. So in this video, we'll show um, how to use the TWS mode, uh, track while scan. So again, same aircraft, uh, same three aircraft in front of us, switch to intercept mode by pressing uh, T, uh, T1 forward. And now we're in air to air intercept mode. And let's lock up the middle target in track while scan. So we can see here on the HUD, uh, we're in intercept mode, track while scan, weapon is ready, and we have uh, 17 miles to the target. 
So let's steer to put our intercept Q in, or our intercept uh, vector into our steering queue. One of the other things that's not modeled yet is this carrot, when you are in range, will move down the left hand side of this box. Right now, it just jumps straight, straight to the underneath side of the box. So left hand side of the box is in range, underneath side of the box is uh, no escape zone, and right hand side of the box is too close. So I'm gonna fire this missile in track while scan mode, uh, Fox 3. So that target um, hasn't got any warning tones that a missile has been fired on him. He hasn't got any, he's not aware. Um, the only time he will be aware is when the missile goes pitbull, which would be a few seconds before impact. So that's how to use track while scan mode. So here we will showcase DTT, which stands for dual target track, which allows you to track and uh, launch on two targets. Uh, so switch to intercept mode by pressing uh, T1 forwards. Slew the radar key over to your first target you'd like to lock up. This is known as the HPT or um, primary target. And then you can slew it over to your secondary target. This carrot over here indicates the no escape zone. And um, I think that there's supposed to be another carrot which indicates that the target is in range. Um, but I don't think that's modeled yet. And you'll also know when a target is in range, like I mentioned earlier, if this carrot moves along the left hand side of this box, uh, the target is in range. Right now, you'll see it will just swap immediately to no escape zone being underneath. There we go. So we'll fire on this target, and that will automatically switch us to the secondary target, and we'll fire on that target. Splash on the primary target and splash on the secondary target. 